What's up, what's up, Crypto Nation? I'm Nemesis with Crypto Brothers. Today I came, came across this uh, little article from uh, Australian regulator hints at increased crypto exchange and ICO scrutiny. Ooh, they're wanting to do regulation. Big deal. Everybody's trying to regulate this space. They're trying to figure out what to do with it. It looks like the governments just want to figure out how they're going to get paid, I think. Once they figured out how the Gestapo gets paid, I think they'll leave us alone. <clears throat> this one was from Cointelegraphs by William Suberg. Australian regulators, Australian regulators, the Australian Security and Investment Commission, ASIC. <laughs> we found the resistance, the ASIC regulation has revealed plans to increase scrutiny of crypto exchanges and the initial coin offerings ICOs in its corporate plan to corporate plan published this week. I'm not really too concerned with them wanting to put a little regulation down on it. I don't care. Um, as long as they're not trying to hold back innovation from happening in this space, I'm cool with that. ASIC, which acts as a super, supervisory organ of, for financial market operations, highlighted the exchange sector in, in an area of priority through 2022. Wow, next couple of years they're focusing in on this. Hopefully they learn stuff from the right people to make the decisions the right way. Specifically, the body plans to ensure threats from harm. The for the nasty from the necessity nas sense industry are mitigated as part of its regulatory remit. Potential harm from its technology driven by the growing digital environment as structured changes in the financial services and markets it announced in the plan continuing. We will continue to focus on monitoring the monitoring threats of harm from emerging products, a examples ICOs and cryptocurrencies, cyber resilience, and adequate management of the technology solutions by firms and markets, and misconducts that facilitate by or through its digital or cyber-based mechanisms. That just means that that doesn't mean a whole lot of anything that doesn't even say that they know what they're talking about that just says that they're looking into ICOs and cryptocurrency exchanges just like every other government out there what are they doing different in the near term meanwhile ASIC wants to closely eye ICOs in particular again with the aim of ensuring compliant behavior cool get rid of the scam coins out of the way Leave the good ones behind and leave them alone to thrive. I just don't like how they use the ASIC name. Just weird. Monitoring emerging products such as ICOs, in inventing where, where there is poor behavior and potential harm to the consumer and investors. The report outlines describes one of its 2018 to 20, uh, 19 projects. A second area of focus coming year of the ASIC ads will be the developing our approach for applying the principles for regulating the markets and infrastructure provided to the cryptos exchanges. It's pretty much what everybody else is trying to do too. They're just trying to get rid of the Wild West and make it like the regular financial sector. Um, I hope that's a good thing if they can get it to work that way, but I don't see it working quite the way that they want to. I don't think that the crypto market is matured enough to, to act like the regular financial institutions. Um, <clears throat> the release comes from the same week as Australia saw its first crypto exchange to raise funds via an ICO respond to multiple inquiries from fellow security regulators, the Australian Security Exchange, ASX, over its own plans. Amid a regulatory environment that has often attracted controversy, Byte Power Group, the company planning to launch crypto, a crypto exchange, insists 
it met the various requirements to proceed within within its token sale have sought ongoing legal advice i mean it to me it just shows that they're trying to do the same regulations that everybody else is they just want to have their own headline it looks like to say that hey we're we're looking into it too um, I don't think that they're going to do anything more than anybody else. Um, I mean, I hope they don't go down the China ban route. Uh, it doesn't work for them. Um, it doesn't work for India. Um, it's not going to work for anybody else. With that being said, leave your comments in down below. Let you me know your thoughts. Um, and with that, while you're down there, smash the like button, the notification, and the bell button. And with that, you guys have a wonderful day.